Hi there, this is Terry from stampingmagic.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is this pretty card. It uses a technique called inlaid embossing. And I did this using the Flourish Thinlet dies. I also use the beautiful bouquet stamp set for the sentiment. So let's get started. This is what the beautiful bouquet stamp set looks like, but I'm only using this one sentiment today. I'm placing my stamp case underneath my acrylic plate to make it level. This makes inking up the stamp a little easier. I've positioned my stamp and I've just picked it up using the plate. I'm going to use Berry Burst ink first. So I'm going to ink up my stamp and then stamp it down. Now I didn't get a very good impression so I'm going to go again and this is the beauty of the Stamper Artist. You can um, stamp and over stamp as many times as you need to. As long as you don't move your paper then you'll stamp in exactly the same place each time. Then I'm just cleaning off the ink that's left on my stamp and I'm going to stamp again, this time using Versamark ink. And then I'm going to cover this with clear embossing powder. And then I can melt the powder using my heat tool. I love this technique for embossing. You can use any ink underneath the Versamark ink so you can get any colour embossing that you want. I'm using one of the dies from the Stitched Labels Framelit set to cut out my sentiment. And then I have a piece of Tranquil Tide cardstock here and I've added some of our multi-purpose adhesive sheet to the back of this and I'm going to cut out some of the Flourish Thinlet dies. I have a Berry Burst mat here and I'm just going to lay my Flourishes into position now you want to ensure that the top left and the bottom right are where most of the flourishes um, are because they're the areas that are going to be seen most when you put your sentiment panel on so I'm just checking that everything's where I want it to be and then it's just a case of peeling off that backing from the multi-purpose adhesive sheet very carefully because this is quite an intricate die and then I can stick it down onto the card now if you want to you can use uh, wet glue to do this but you must ensure that this is completely dry before you run it through your Big shot in your embossing folder otherwise the pressure can make the glue seep out and it can get a little messy so this is why I like to use the multi-purpose adhesive sheet it's really clean and quick and easy to do now if you stick it down and it's not in the place that you want it to be you can ease it up again and reapply it the multi-purpose sheets are very forgiving so until you've run it through the big shot you can reposition it if you need to
Now, once everything was stuck down, I did try out my sentiment and I didn't like the position of the flourishes. So I did pull that top one off again very carefully and then I repositioned it. You want to be very careful that you don't tear the die cut as you're trying to remove it, especially when they are this intricate. And now I'm going to reposition it and check my sentiment once again just to make sure I'm happy. Okay, then all you need to do is any bits that overhang the mat, you just need to trim these away. Once you're happy with the position, then you can run it through the Big Shot with your chosen embossing folder. Now I'm using the Dynamic Tufted folder for this. And what I'm doing here is making sure that I'm centering my mat within the pattern on the folder. This just gives you a better result. Don't just stick it in and run it through and hope for the best. So I'm centering it top and bottom and side to side. And this is the sort of result that you will get. The flourishes have sort of become one, if you like, with the berry burst mat underneath them. Now I have a Tranquil Tide card base here. This is just a half a sheet of standard size cardstock, scored in half and then folded to create a portrait card. And I also have a piece of our silver foil. Now I'm going to add the embossed panel to the silver foil first of all, and then position this onto the front of the card base. Now, you can probably guess what I'm going to do to decorate the inside if you've seen any of my previous videos. But just to recap, I have a strip of Berry Burst cardstock and I've run this through with the tufted embossing folder. Uh, I've added it to a strip of our silver foil just so there's a border on the top showing and then I've trimmed it down to the size I want. And I'm going to add this to the bottom of a white mat that will go inside the card base. I've already added dimensionals to the back of the sentiment panel, so I'm now removing the backings and then I can position this onto the front of my card base. To finish this card off, I'm just going to add a couple of our silver metallic pearls onto that sentiment panel. And here is my finished card. And my original one. I did do a third card, reversing the colours to my original one. I had to cut out the sentiment using different dies this time because when I stamped it, I stamped it too close to the left hand edge. But I think it looks good still. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe 
and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.